Hello everyone. Today's topic is prime and composite numbers. Before I start with prime and composite numbers, we're going to be discussing about factors. Factors are two or more numbers that can be multiplied together to get a new number. For example, 24. Let's just write the factors of 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So the factors of a number each divide the number evenly. For example, if I do here 24 divide by 2, I get 12 as a whole number. Or if you want to do other way around, you can try 2 times 12 will give you 24. So I have to think about times table in which 24 comes. So that is the factors. Now, prime number. A prime number has exactly two factors, one and the number itself. For example, let's just think about three. So three is a prime number because I can do one times three or I can do three times one. And according to the definition of prime number, it says prime number has exactly two factor, one and the number itself. In our case, it's three. Let's just look at another example. 11. So factors of 11, we can write like one times 11 is 11 or 11 times one. Therefore, factors of 11 are 1 and 11. Number 1 and the number itself, which in our case is 11. So these are prime numbers. We can have more prime numbers. Composite number. A composite number has more than two factors. Let's just take another example. 8. 8 is a composite number because I can say 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 4 is 8, and then if you want to do 4 times 2, which will still give you 8, and 8 times 1, which will still give you 8. Therefore, the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Let's just look at another example. 20. Let's find the factors of 20. We will start from 1. 1 times 20 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. Then 4 times 5 is 20. And if you want to do 5 times 4, which will still be the same as 4 times 5, and 10 times 2, again, it's the same thing. Then 20 times 1, same thing which we just wrote. Therefore, the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Therefore, 20 is a composite number because it has more than two factors. Let's just look at more examples. Write if a number is a prime or a composite number. The first example is 45. So we need to find out if it's a prime or a composite number. In order to do that, we're going to write the factors of 45. So the factors of 45 are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, and 45. Since it has more than two factors, therefore it is a composite number. Let's just look at the second example. So the factors of 13 are 1, 
and 13 because 1 times 13 is 13 and 13 times 1 is 13 and it has only two factors 1 and the number itself therefore 13 is a prime number the third example is 6 the factors of 6 are 1 2 3 and 6 it has more than two factors therefore it is a composite number the fourth example is 25 the factors of 25 are 1 5 and 25 and it has more than two factors therefore it is a composite number Now we're going to look at factor tree or prime factorization tree. Draw a factor tree for each number or to find the prime factors of each number. Let's just look at one example. The first example is 27. So I have to think about one times table in which 27 comes. And I know that it comes in times table of 3. So I can say 3 times 9 is 27. And I know that 3 is a prime number. So I will leave this one. And 9 is a composite number. Therefore, I will break 9 into prime numbers. So I can write this as 3 times 3, which is 9. This is a prime number. This is a prime number. Therefore, prime factors of 27 are. So 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. That's the first example. Let's just look at the second example. The number is 20. So I have to think about a times table in which 20 comes. I know that 20 comes in times table of 2, so I can say 2 times 10 is 20. And 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to leave this alone. And then I will break 10 into more numbers. So I can say 2 times 5 will give me 10 and 2 is a prime number and 5 is a prime number therefore that's my last step the prime factors of 20 are 2 times 2 times 5 so i'm taking the first two from here the second two from here and the third digit which is 5 from here or if you want to write that as an exponential form, so I have 2, 2, so I can write 2 to the power of 3 times 5. Let's just look at the third example. So the third example we can take as 45. And again, I have to think about times table in which 45 comes. I can say 3 times 15 is 45. So I can write this 3 here and then 15 here. 3 is a prime number, so I'm not going to break that down. 15 is a composite number. Therefore, I have to think about another times table in which 15 comes. And I know that it comes in times table of 3. 3 times 5 is 15. And from here, we can see 3 and 5 are prime numbers, so that should be our final step. Therefore, prime factors of 45 are 3 times 3 times 5, or if you want to write that as an exponential form. There are two 3's, so I can write 3 as the base, 2 as the exponent, and then I have times 5. So that's how you can draw a factor tree or the prime factorization tree 
when the number is given and you have to break it down until you get at the end all the prime numbers. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.